Good morning guys, hope you're well. Hope the light's not shining in your faces too much. Wow, chilly night last night, can't believe it. It's, uh, it's nearly in June now and there's still some snow up here. We're camped down by Red Tarn, just at the base of Helvellyn. Absolutely wonderful location in the Lake District. Yes, chilly night, but I'm heading up to Striding Edge right now to hopefully capture sunrise in all its glory. So I really can't wait. Just a short walk up this uh, hillside from a campsite. I want to say uh, I'm actually here with my brother, which has been absolutely amazing. I haven't seen him for 18 months uh, due to everything that's happened in the world. So yeah, it was great to meet him here and spend the night with him. Something that we've been looking forward to for a very, very long time. So that's been fantastic. But this morning, it's all about photography. So without further ado, I'll see you at the top of this uh, quite steep incline. And we should get to sunrise at about quarter past five. See you at the top. Ooh, that's certainly got me sweating. <laughs> anyway, reached the top of Striding Edge, looking fabulous. As you can see, the sun is just starting to uh, rise at the minute. Some nice golden colours there in the background, which is great. However, there's a lot of cloud out that way as well. And uh, I, I think probably the colours are going to dwindle in a minute and uh, we're just going to be left with a rather drab sunrise, unfortunately. But there's some amazing rock formations here on this edge and they all point down towards Allswater. So I think that's probably going to be what I'm going to be working on, I'm trying to get composition. If I can get the composition sorted out, you know, conditions are what they are, aren't they? You can't, you can't change that, but at least we can change something about the composition. So I'm going to work hard for the next few minutes, try and get something set up here, looking back towards Allswater Alls and uh, obviously the rising sun. So yeah, let's get this one sorted out. So I've had to work probably quicker than what I normally work when I'm trying to sort my compositions out. Um, that sun's coming up really, really quickly. And I just start to see the glow over the top of the clouds now. And I've managed to uh, sort my composition out. Now, I do have a uh, little confession to make. I did come up to this spot last night um, before it got dark, just to have a little scout out to see if uh, there was a potential image up here. And I did find these uh, rock formations just here. And they all point down towards Allswater, which offer you know, a really nice lead in line. And uh, I'm gonna take a series of shots leading down towards Allswater and the rising sun. And there's, there's some lovely pastel colors in the sky right now as well. And I really wanna make the most of this. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna focus stack this shot. So I'm gonna focus on the rocks and then I'm gonna focus on the background as well. And um, I'm gonna be shooting this probably continuously I would have thought over the next couple of minutes as that sun rises to maximize you know the potential in the scene really and uh, yeah it's looking really nice actually there's some beautiful colors in the sky quite subdued but yeah real nice pastel tones which is really nice settings wise my f11 13th of a second ISO 160 like I mentioned it's gonna be two shots I'm quite close to these rocks here and f11 that's uh, you know getting everything pretty much sharp right through from my uh, close in foreground to my midground, and then that just final shot there is on the on the mountains in the background. Just want to make sure I've got those nice and sharp. I'm just waiting for a bit of light to hit the edge of these rocks down here in the foreground, which is uh, hopefully going to bring my foreground to life. And uh, yes, that's what I'm looking for. Just to about waiting for that, excuse me, critical moment to uh, to capture that light hitting the rocks before it gets overexposed in the background because, yeah, nobody likes to see an overexposed area of an image. So, yeah, it's looking really nice, actually. 
quite pleased with the composition, how it's, uh, how it's come out. We've got all these lovely sweeping boulders that just lead the eye down towards Allswater. Allswater is almost positioned centrally in the frame, but the sun is positioned bang on the top right hand third of my image. And I probably will crop a bit of the sky out of this image to make it less rectangular and more in keeping with a, a 4x5 kind of framing, which I prefer for my vertical shots. So you might notice that I've, been, I've been doing quite a lot of vertical shots recently, and um, I've mentioned this many times on the channel. It's something that I've been really trying to work on. My, uh, my brain seems to... <coughs> my brain seems to find compositions easier in a landscape format than they do in a vertical format. So um, yeah, that's something that um, I've been struggling with. It's definitely something that I've worked on over the, over the last uh, little while and hopefully it's something that I'm improving on. That sun is just coming up now. So hopefully we're gonna get some light on these rocks, which is gonna look absolutely amazing. So I'm gonna stop waffling on and uh, yes, get this shot and then swing around and head back towards Helvell in there and see if we can get a shot looking down striding edge because I think that'll be really nice. So yeah, cracking start. Ooh, sunrise is always a bit of a rush, isn't it? Often very little time to record any footage as well. So I do apologize guys if there wasn't a huge amount of B-roll there, but I really need to concentrate on getting that photograph. And I think I did get the best of the light there. So I'm just gonna head up over this mound here now and see if we can get something looking back at Helvellyn. Being very careful not to slip over on some of these slippery granite boulders some lovely uh, moss and lichens on these on these boulders i might even concentrate on some of those when i come back in a second so i'm gonna head up into this uh, bit of a section of rock here might have to put my camera away to get up there and uh, see what we can get looking back that way well we've still got some nice light <coughs> So I definitely think there's a shot here, looking down this knife edge towards Helvellyn. It's just a case of how much of the lake I include and how much of the mountain I include or whether I go for something, you know, quite intimate. I think in maybe something quite close in, that's my initial thought. Um, likewise, there's a lot of cloud out that way now, just in the space of a few minutes, you know, can change quite quickly, can't it? This, to, you know, this time of year, late spring, Sun's rising a lot quicker, clouds are swirling around there in the mountains, a lot of mist hanging around. It can soon uh, eat up your light. But I think there's definitely a composition here and if I can get some light on the edges of these rocks here on this lovely mountain path up to the summit of Helvellyn, I think that could, uh, that could make an interesting photograph. And like I mentioned back there, there's these wonderful lichens that are clinging to these granite boulders which look really nice actually really vibrant bright green color so I really like those in terms of where we camped last night um, you'd be able to see if I point you down there you'd be able to see our two tents a little bit later last night another group of uh, younger lads joined us um, they got up similar sort of time to me and I can see them now right on the summit of Helvellyn so they obviously got up there for a sunrise shoot which is nice always nice to see people out enjoying the mountains which is great so yeah lovely little camp spot there perfect camp spot down by red tarn really really nice walk up as well from glenridding so cracking cracking walk nice circular route and you can see our route back over the ridge line there which we'll be taking a bit later but i'm going to stop rambling because i want to get this shot here looking back towards helvellyn i want to get that one in the can so 
time to uh yeah time to stop waffling time to get my composition sorted out guys so well it's been a frantic few minutes guys i've um i took a shot looking back that way towards helvellyn and uh, I wasn't massively keen on it and I'll try to explain why um, you might just be able to see down here it's quite a dark patch of uh, uninteresting granite and it sits on the darker side of the ridge line and it felt like a big empty space of nothing really although I was getting some lovely light hitting on the right hand side just that empty space kind of really you know didn't help the composition at all so I've, I did frame it up and I framed it up four by five and I think it's okay it's quite a simple minimalistic kind of image so I think it's all right um, but just as I was taking it I swung around and looked at the amazing hazy light looking back similar to where we were looking before back to work towards Allswater and um, yeah this this hazy light looks fantastic and it's we're getting you know separation with the mountains and yeah it's really beautiful but I'm a lot higher up than I, than I was before when I took the sunrise shot and I found these amazing craggy lines here with all covered in beautiful green moss and they've got lovely dew clinging to them as well we've got all these beautiful green lichens as well but these these rocks this rock formation here are really you know distinctive lines really craggy as well and they all point down towards Allswater. I think this is probably a better composition than where I were first thing but obviously I didn't have time to get up here before the before the sun rose so that that was a good idea to concentrate on that I think this morning but this I think is probably a better composition and it what it also does in the previous shot where Allswater was bang in the center of the frame I'm now able to put Allswater on the left third and then the sun in the top right so we've got a bit of a natural flow through the image and I think the eye wanders around the scene a little bit better than perhaps in the early morning one but compositionally it's a little bit more challenging because I'm having to bracket this shot I'm doing a five shot bracket with one stop increments I'm at f13 and I'm focusing on these uh, rocks here and that's given me enough sharpness I'm not too worried about the mountains in the background now because they're so hazy so if they fall out of focus just a little bit I think that's acceptable for this shot and I don't really fancy doing a focus stacked bracketed image I can't be doing with that <laughs> so we are going to take one um one exposure for the focusing and obviously five for the bracketing and just blend those together when we get back to lightroom so yeah fantastic looking uh, composition this one i'm really pleased with this so i'm not going to dwindle i'm going to get it done nearly fell over then and it's a sheer drop down there so i've got to be a bit careful so yeah focusing on these lovely rock formations here two second timer five shot bracket absolutely wonderful yeah lovely hazy conditions some cloud detail as well which is obviously helping as always nobody wants a boring sky do they so i'm pretty hungry now so i'm gonna pack my gear up wander back down to the tent grab some porridge pack the gear up head down take the tent and all my camping gear back to the car and then uh, head out later on see what else i can find and hopefully make some more images later what a fabulous morning guys absolutely beautiful i'll tell you what there's nothing better than waking up on a mountain absolutely wonderful even if you don't get a lot of sleep in the night so worth it absolutely wonderful guys just a true pleasure to be up here anyways see you down at the bottom
Well, so guys, literally just got down from the mountain and the heavens have opened up. Typical Lakeland weather. It's thrown it down. But that being said, I had a wonderful morning up there. But sadly, I checked my forecast just then and uh, this looks to be set in for the rest of the day, which is uh, not what I expected at all. So uh, a little bit disappointed about that. But wonderful, wonderful morning and evening up there. Managed to grab a couple of photographs. Hopefully they've come out well. Obviously you guys know that. I don't until I get back to post-production, but I hope they come out well. Probably going to have to wrap this vlog up now. I don't think it's worth me going back up. Um, exploring the areas I was going to take a look at. But uh, yes, I think I'm going to wrap it up, guys. So thanks once again for watching this video. Please feel free to like, comment and share. That's always... Uh, massively helps me out and uh, yeah if you fancy supporting the channel please do consider checking out my online photography club until next week guys take care and i'll see you soon